Hi, my name is Georgi Duf and in this video I would like to discuss the structure conductor insulator semiconductor. This is a stack structure also known as the MOS structure. MOS is an abbreviation for metal oxide semiconductor. Uh, in this video we will discuss the three modes of operation for this structure accumulation, depletion and inversion. Let's begin with uh, the structure itself in thermal equilibrium. So no external voltage is applied. So for, for my discussion, I will use a P-type semiconductor, for example, silicon, which is doped with acceptor atoms, such that the majority of the carriers, mobile carriers, are holes. So in this structure, the semiconductor it's neutral in terms of charge because for every hole which is a positive mobile charge there is the negative charge immobile charge of the ion of the dopant atom so uh, here we have uh, uh, equal quantities of negatively charged ions and negatively charged ions and the mobile holes. Then uh, uh, here is the isolator. So for example, silicon oxide, and here is metal. So you can see that uh, uh, because of the isolator between the semiconductor and the metal, there will be no current possible uh, to flow between the plates of the structure. Let's discuss the first mode of operation, which is called the accumulation mode. For it, we apply an external voltage in this direction with the positive side on connected to the semiconductor, the P-type semiconductor, and the negative side to the metal plate. So the direction of the electric field is given here. The holes, which are mobile positive charges, will feel the, f the drift force of the electric field and they will move along the electric field in this direction. So the charges, the positive charges holes will actually pile up at the interface between the semiconductor and the oxide. This is because they cannot move to the other side since they are stopped by the oxide. Then what we'll have is accumulation of holes at the interface between the semiconductor and the isolator. On the other side, we'll have, of course, electrons. So the structure will resemble very much a metal plate uh, capacitor, uh, at uh, both uh, plates of which we have uh, positive and negative charges which balance each other. So here is a short animation which I made for the accumulation mode. We applied the external field and it exercises force, drift force, on the holes in this direction and the holes move uh, to be stopped at the interface with the oxide. So you can see that at this side we have positive charges and on this side we have negative charges and they balance uh, each other across the isolator. Now let's uh, discuss the next uh, operation mode of the MOS structure, which is the depletion mode. For this mode of operation, we inverse the polarity of the externally applied voltage. We connect the plus to the metal and the minus to the semiconductor. So the direction of the electric field is in this from, from the metal to the semiconductor. Now, an important note is that we apply moderate voltages. The voltages are not high, so small to moderate uh, voltages. What will happen is that uh, the holes here will feel the force of the uh, electric field and they will move along with it. And the direction is away from the isolator. As the holes move away, they leave behind the negatively charged ions. And now you can see that the ions, the negative charge is in, not compensated because the holes moved away deep in the semiconductor. 
So here, a region in space is created which is void of mobile charges, hence the name depletion region. The only charge that we have in this region is ions, negatively charged ions, hence its alternative name of the region, space charge region. So this negative charge of the uh, ions will exactly compensate the positive charge on the metal plate. The name depletion mode comes from the fact that at the interface between the semiconductor and the, and the isolator, the, this region is depleted from carriers. All the holes are expelled from this region. They follow the externally applied uh, field, which leads them deep in the semiconductor. And they leave behind exposed the negatively charged ions. Here is a short animation that I created for the depletion mode of operation. Note how the holes move away, move away from the interface. And now this negative charge, immobile negative charge, space charge, which remain, exactly compensates the positive charge of the metal plate. The name of this mode of operation is depletion mode. Now we increase in magnitude this uh, electric field. So we apply now in the same direction but stronger uh, electric field. So the externally applied voltage is stronger. The electric field now is much stronger. So strong that it exercises force on the minority carriers in the p-type. Then the minority carriers are the electrons. They feel the force of the, uh, the electric field and they move against it in this direction. So that they now pile up at the interface with the isolator. In this mode of operation, on the, this side we have two types of charges. Immobile charge due to the ions, negative immobile charge due to the ions, and negative charge due to the electrons. The name inversion mode comes from the fact that from a p-type semiconductor, now here, close to the interface with the oxide, we inverted it and now the semiconductor here in this small layer behaves like an n-type. It behaves like an n-type because the majority of carriers, mobile carriers, here are electrons. Hence, we inverted the interface from p-type to n-type the interface between the uh, oxide and the semiconductor. And this is a very important property uh, and effect which is used by transistors, the MOSFET transistors. If we have here terminals, which are called source and drain in the transistors, thanks to this layer of electrons, it will be possible to conduct current in this direction from a terminal which is connected here to a terminal which is connected here. Through the layer of electrons, it will be possible to conduct current. So this is why this mode of operation for the MOS structure is very important. Here is the short uh, animation of the inversion mode, the direction of uh, the electric field, we go through the depletion mode and then in the inversion mode the field magnitude is much stronger such that the minority carrier's electrons are attracted from deep in the semiconductor to the thin layer interface layer between the semiconductor and the isolator. The layer close to the oxide now is inverted from a p-type to an n-type semiconductor for which the majority of 
mobile carriers are electrons. Thank you very much for your attention.